Earth scientists have discovered evidence in rock layers to date Earth's history on a geological time scale at about 4.6 billion years old. These scientists have shown that Earth's systems have internal and external energies that continue to alter the various land structures of Earth. These energies or forces can be constructive or destructive as they build up or tear down Earth's surface. One example of these forces is the process or development of sinkholes. As you can see from this map of the United States, sinkholes occur in different regions all across the USA and beyond worldwide. So what are sinkholes? The term sinkhole is defined as a cavity or a hole in the Earth's surface which is caused by a process in which rock dissolves. They occur most often on land that is made of limestone or other water-soluble rock underneath the subsurface. Land that is made of limestone is often referred to as karst landforms. They are made of carbonate rock such as limestone or dolomite. Limestone is a sedimentary rock composed primarily of calcium carbonate from the mineral calcite. Its properties are porous and it can be dissolved by acid solutions. Much of Florida's landscape is composed of karst landforms. In fact, Florida lies on top of a platform of sedimentary rock that is many thousands of feet thick. On our geological time scale, it was formed about 25 to 60 million years ago when the whole region was underwater. This limestone platform is composed of the fossilized remains of sea creatures, mostly tiny invertebrates such as corals, which will die and sink to the ocean floor, and over millions of years builds up into composed layers of the carbonate rock known as limestone. So why do so many sinkholes occur in Florida? Well, homes in Florida are built atop layers of sand and clay, which sits atop the limestone platform. There are many underground cavities in this limestone platform, as well as tunnels, which fill up with fresh water, and this is known as the Florida Aquifer System. Limestone dissolves quickly by carbonic acid, which is found in rainwater, as well as decaying plant material. When the underground cavities enlarges to the point that its ceiling can no longer support the weight of the overlying sediments, the earth will collapse into the cavity and thus a sinkhole forms. Sinkholes in Florida can be categorized by different types and some of them that form um, are shallow and broad which develop gradually to those that are large in diameter very deep and develop abruptly. In Florida, the most common natural sources of stress that trigger sinkholes are the fluctuations of water levels. These are pictures of the Santa Fe River in May of 2012 where we were in a drought condition and the levels of water were very low. We were actually looking for fossils on the Santa Fe River and we were walking across it. Then at the end of June 2012, we had Tropical Storm Debbie come into our area and cause severe flooding. This is the Santa Fe River and people living around the Santa Fe River who had to move and evacuate out of their homes. The water level changes were so high, there were road closures, and of course um, many sinkholes in the area started to form. When the rains come, it exasperates the sinkhole problem as it makes topsoils heavier. And then the support beneath um, being gone, the soils will cave in, creating the sinkholes. And this is what's happened recently here in Alachua County. According to the Florida Geological Survey, there have been at least 54 sinkholes reported in Alachua County since the 1960s. With the recent flooding conditions that have occurred in the High Springs area, we have had a second sinkhole develop in my neighborhood. This sinkhole formed on July 2nd after Tropical Storm Debbie's heavy rain. It formed abruptly and is now about 30 feet deep. My problem or question is that I've discovered a small depression on our property and I'm wondering now, is this the beginning formation of a new sinkhole? I have learned that yes, it could be, but it could also be the expansive and shrinking property of the clay soils found in this area. 
I will continue to measure and monitor for further changes. If it does develop into a sinkhole, maybe I'll create a landscape park like Devil's Millhopper in Gainesville, Florida, or a water feature such as the Devil's Hole in Hawthorne, Florida. Boy, that would be lots of fun.